David Abner Aknamoff was fast asleep on the first floor of his 65th Avenue home early Monday morning when he was suddenly woken up. Just tried to, you know, fall asleep. All kids were sleeping and uh, my wife, she wasn't sleeping. So uh, what happened, uh, we, I mean, she heard uh, somebody banging on, on the door and the windows that and screaming fire. Abdur Aknamoff says he, his wife and four boys all made it out safely. Upstairs lives a husband, wife, and their six children who also had relatives staying with them for Passover. Abdurakhimov says he saw the wife holding one of her children in her arms, and then suddenly the husband ran back into the fire. He went to save them, and uh, he, you know he probably you know just caught up with the smoke. They had to carry him out. The, the father and the son. The mother was the first one out, and also they had a little daughter. She also got, she also had um, um, trouble. She didn't feel so good. They had to take her out with the hospital. Fire officials say the fire broke out on the second floor. Fire started in the kitchen. The uh, victims were in the rear bedrooms. Uh, some had tried to come out of their, their rooms and uh, became unconscious. Next door neighbors say they're thankful the fire was contained to just one home. I was wondering what it was. I heard like window shatter as well. Later Monday morning, crews came in to board up the windows and clean up. While Abdurakhimov says he has a lot of work ahead of him, he also knows the situation could have turned out much worse. My kids alive, their kids alive, that's the most important thing. The rest is, you know, replaceable, fixable. Fire officials say there were reports of working smoke alarms and it took about a half an hour to put the fire out. They have yet to determine what caused it. In Fresh Meadows, Bree Driscoll, New York One.